Okay, so in part four, we're going to make um, our falling objects create a lot of clones that fall from the top and also hide these original sprites so that they just aren't permanent objects on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have one of my falling objects selected. And I need to think about if I want it to continuously create clones, which loop I should use. And we've learned about three different ones. We have the repeat a certain number of times loop, a forever loop, and a repeat until loop. And I want this to do it always. So I'm going to use a forever loop. So I'm going to take out a forever loop and I'm going to put this around the block to create a clone of myself. Now I don't want it to just create crazy amounts of clones because as you can see there's a lot of oranges that'll fall on my screen. So I'm going to have it wait and wait a random amount of time so that it really looks random with the number of um, sprites that are clones that fall from the top of the screen. So I'm going to say pick random from zero to three seconds and let's test that out. And we can see that they're falling great. So um, a couple of things. We want to make it so that these original sprites will be hidden and then only the clones will show. So if I go to the looks menu, I'm going to look for the hide block. And I'm going to tell the sprite to hide when the green flag is clicked and to show when it starts as a clone. Let's try that out. So it's working for the orange. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing for the rocks really quickly. Okay, great. So I have done this now for both of my following objects, but the last thing I want to do is instead of just having them pile up at the bottom, I want them or on top of the sprite to actually delete once they are done falling. So I'm going to go back to the control menu and look for delete this clone. And I'm going to add that to the bottom of both of these repeat until loops. And we'll test that out and see how it works. Great. And now my objects are just falling. Um, perfect. So in part five, we'll learn how to um, create a variable that's going to keep track of our score and change depending on which object we touch.